If your stream thumbnail catches someone's eye and they peek down to have a look at that title and see what your stream's all about, only to see a badly written mush of letters and numbers, then you're gonna lose a lot of potential viewers. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to title your stream so that you get more clicks, meaning more viewers, keep those viewers chatting for longer, and grow your stream. And why it all comes down to puns. Hello everybody, my name is LJ from streamscheme.com. I'm also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to those in the description, why don't you check me out? I should be live right now. So, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to write an engaging title, how to get people talking with that title, and a lot of do's and don'ts about titling your Twitch stream. And I'm gonna show you examples of all sorts of titles throughout the video just to help you out. There are time codes in the description and in the top comment, so feel free to check out any part of this video. Everything in today's video is based on my journey growing from zero to 90 average viewers in just a few months. With my background in marketing, I spend a lot of time looking at what works and what doesn't when growing a Twitch stream, which is why I know for a fact that a lot of what I'm saying here today should work for you. Before I get into these ideas, what I want you to do is I want you to comment down below how you title your streams. Just your latest stream, chuck the title down below or an idea that you've had, put it in there. Then at the end of the video, go back, reply to yourself and edit your title so that it takes everything we talked about today and puts it there. I'm also gonna go through and reply to a bunch of your stuff, maybe help you out if I can, and uh, pick the ones that I like the best, or just rate them out of 10. I don't know, chuck them in there, I'd love to see how it goes. If you're gonna title your stream to try and increase clicks from the homepage, browse section, or even search categories, then there's a few bits of key information you're gonna need before you even start thinking about what you can write in that little section. First things first, the crucial thing about a title is to hook your viewers. A hook is the same thing I did at the start of this video. You set up your premise and you get people interested and willing to click in. A title needs to have a really solid hook and we'll go into some of those later. The second thing that I think a lot of people don't understand about Twitch titles is that only 36 characters are actually gonna be shown when your thumbnail and stream appears in the browse section. After that, there'll be a small space and then three dots. If you wanna hover over it, it will show up the whole thing but no one hovers. So you really need to make your hook and your title really get those first 36 characters. Otherwise, it's pointless. The third thing that you need to know is that you need to deliver on your title. If you put something really clickbaity in there and people drop by, or heck, even if you just say that you're gonna do something and you're not doing that thing, you're gonna lose a lot of viewers. This is called bouncing. Someone comes to your stream and they leave instantly because you're not delivering on what your title or thumbnail says. So deliver on what you're putting in your title. So with those three bits of crucial information out of the way, let's get on to our first full tip, and that is that your title needs to be engaging. Now making it engaging is the most crucial part of your title, and the best way to do that is to actually invoke an emotional response from people. This can be done by telling a joke, putting stakes or a challenge in your title, or stating an opinion that sparks conversation, which is something we'll get to in our next tip on how you can do that. Why in the start of this video did I say that it all comes down to puns? Well, you see, when I was still growing and I was on around 10 to 15 viewers, I started putting puns in every single title. So I was playing Stardew Valley, so it was quite easy. I just write a bunch of farming puns and then put them out for each title. You see, the internet has memed puns to either be God tier comedy or the absolute pits of hell comedy, and there's no in between for it. So it gets people really riled up or people really love it. This is what I mean when I say you need to invoke a response. People want to have some sort of action or feeling when they read your title. Another thing I did was I'd also insult or celebrate good and bad villages from the Stardew Valley village, and that would get people to come in and start debating or defending or celebrating that statement. I'll go into the conversation sparks in a little bit. I mentioned adding stakes or a challenge to your title earlier. This is great when playing games like getting over it with Benny Fauna or Benny Hanna or whatever his name is, uh, Pogo Stark or anything like that. You can say things like beating this game today or gifting subs or not ending stream until we beat this game. These are stakes, these are titles. People see this and they go, wait, how long has they been going for? Or, oh my God, I wanna get a gifted sub. Taking the stakes, the jokes, emotional responses, and the memes kind of into, into action. Recently, I played Dark Souls 3 and I named my stream, Amateur Gamer Gets Destroyed by Hardcore Game. And if you're wondering what the first 36 characters of that are, it's Amateur Gamer Gets Destroyed by Hard, dot, dot, dot. <sighs> Which, isn't a reference to how other videos on the internet are titled. I don't know what you're talking about. If you recognize that theme, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Going beyond making it engaging into our second major tip is that you need to spark conversation. Personally, I don't think asking a direct question in your title is the best play here. I think asking a question doesn't really invoke 
someone wanting to come check it out. So what I recommend instead is write something or say something that makes someone want to come in and talk, like I did with Stardew Valley or any other game where there are characters, you can call out a character or say you love a character. It is personable. People want to come in and they want to talk about it. They love these characters. Something that has worked for me, and I know it's worked because people say it when they join stream, is that in square brackets at the start of my stream, I have AUS in all capitals to stand for Australian. And I actually do get Aussies dropping in and going, hey, it's good to see another Aussie streamer, which is odd because there's a lot of Australian streamers, but for some reason, I guess people don't realize they're Australians until they see it in the title, but it's worked for me. I dropped that off though if I need to fit in things like Amateur Gamer gets destroyed by hard. So you gotta kind of weigh up what works and what doesn't for you in that particular title. But something that I think is really solid that I've been doing a lot of lately is I pick mundane things in life and then I make a statement about it that I think could be heavily debated in a good way. For example, I wrote that doing the dishes is the best chore, vacuuming is the worst, change my mind. When I wrote this title, I also put it in my go live notification and my engagements for both blew up. I was in the just chatting category at the start of this stream and I even had a tier maker set up so we could even rank all the different chores. It was great, we had huge chat engagement. It was an amazing system. You can do this with desserts or sodas or fast food, whatever you want. But the idea is to make it mundane and relatable so that anyone can join in. I very heavily wanna push you towards using these kinds of topics and not controversial topics. It is just so much easier, it's more fun, you're not gonna cut anyone out, and if you wanna grow, it's better to avoid all that controversial stuff. If you grow on controversy, you're gonna have a bad time in the future. So I have one more tip that I think a lot of streamers forget to do, and it's one of the most important things you can do when it comes to streaming in general. And then I have some do's and don'ts that will quick fire off. But before I get to that, I wanna let you know that if you're enjoying this content, it really helps us out to throw a cheeky like on it and subscribe. We're making these videos weekly, and we have a lot of guides over on streamscheme.com. And don't forget to chuck your titles in the comments. Seriously, I love interacting with you guys. Every single reply is me, literally across all our socials. So hit me up. So before I get into my quick fire do's and don'ts, this is the most important tip out of any tip anyone can ever give you when it comes to streaming. Plan your content and plan your stream. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't mean just I'm gonna play this game tonight or do this thing tonight. You need to plan out every single aspect. Plan out what you're doing in your stream, plan out the title, plan out the go live notification, think about what you're doing, write down jokes or commentary or ideas to talk about. It goes so much further than just the title, but I, I do think the title is something you need to plan out way ahead of the stream. The best things in life take time and care, so don't get caught flat-footed. Make sure you plan out your titles and for your streams and your go-live notifications in advance. Make sure they're partnered together so that people see the go-live, click it, the stream title matches with what the go-live says, and you can go from there. For example, the Amateur Gamer title that I told you about before, I wrote that a whole week before I had the Dark Souls stream. I was up late at night researching video titling for this script, and I thought of it. I wasn't doing anything else. It came to me while researching and I wrote it on some paper that I had nearby for some reason. I've actually had a lot of fun with go live notifications lately and I've gotten some really interesting data from it. So if you wanna hear any information on that, chuck it in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys are keen to see that. A go live is, a, is the thing that goes out when your stream goes live automatically by Twitch. All right, so let's get into our quick fire do's and don'ts of stream titling. First things first, after those first 36 to 37 characters, obviously, as I said, things are gonna disappear. So you can use that area to add a little extra information for when someone does click through. You can add day three if you're on your third day of playing a certain game. Or if you always get asked a single question, you just put it as a command like I have with my CloudBot. And then you put the command in the title so people know to use it. Just give people extra information. Or another handy hint, if you chuck the game title as it appears on Twitch at the end of your stream title, it'll actually help in the search I found. I get a lot more search traffic when I have that included in it. So try that out. Second, do not put your sub goal or follower goal in your title. That's not content. It's essentially the same as begging, I think. You really should keep that separate. There are better places for those sorts of CTAs. Your title is content and it needs to be valuable or entertaining for your audience. Third quick fire is do review your competition. Go to the category you're gonna be streaming in and look for where you're gonna be streaming or where you're gonna sit. Look at what everyone else is doing and try and do it better. You need to review the titles and come up with something much better than them and you can go from there. I actually go into how to make your stream more clickable in my grow to 25 viewers in 60 days video. So if you wanna check that out, there are cards above or there's a link in the description for you. My fourth do is to use Twitch tags. Twitch is heavily pushing the tag system. They're adding more features for it every single month. 
I really would recommend looking into it. I get a lot of views when I use the permadeath or the playing with viewers tag. Playing with viewers tag, way more though. Mainly because people go to the Minecraft category or the Animal Crossing category and they click the little tag playing with viewers and it just sorts them all. And honestly, not many people use tags, so it's a really good way to stand out for those people who are searching for something. And my fifth and final do not is do not tag things that you are not doing. As I said at the start, deliver on what you promise. If you're gonna put something in your title or your tags or your thumbnail, you need to be doing that when people click through or else you're just gonna get a lot more bounces from your stream. So get out there and title your stream like a pro. Chuck in the comments down below the new title for your stream and like and subscribe because I'm making these videos weekly and I'd love to hear what you guys want me to make and what you guys want me to look at.